Can we fix that second unit? This is Perspective Log X, and I am your host, E.A. Crespo. Perspective Log X. Makers Funding. Here are my shout outs. All right, first one is going to David CC1, second to Raw Status TV, third one to Brisk Clown, and the fourth one to Michael Martin. Shout outs to all of you. And also I wanna give a shout out to Dan the Lakers fan, Big Baby Jonathan, who are both YouTubers that concentrate their uh, broadcastings on the Lakers. So shout outs to all of you. Kyle Kuzma. There are five reasons why Kuzma is very valuable. Number one, he can score off the dribble. Number two, he can score out of a rebound because he was a center, so he can rebound and block shots. If you look at the games that he's very active, not all the time, but he can do that. He used to be a center. Change of scenery. Number three, uh, the change of scenery is because of the lighting. He scores in rhythms. That means that if he gets going, he's going to make a lot of shots. He can score probably 15 or 20 points in a hurry, in probably in seven, eight minutes. Number four, his arsenal is huge. He's a cutter, slasher, mid-range shooter, three-point shooter, floater shooter. He can jump over and dunk on people, even though we are not seeing that from him right now. Number five, Kuzma is a student of the game. He wants to keep learning. At the time that I am um, making this video, He's been about three weeks where Kuzma has been known to be studying Scottie Pippen's style of a defensive game to get information and emulate some of the things and bring him to his game. Kuzma's problems, the psychological effect of the injury might be more difficult to heal the, the actual physical injury. You gotta trust your body again, and sometimes that takes a little more time than the actual healing of the injury. Coming from the bench, you have to adjust at your position. That puts pressure in how much time you have to be productive. He needs to solve that problem. The system. Part of this uh, discussion that I've been having with uh, some friends on the comments, the ones that I did the shout out to, made me think about this. Kuzma is used to a fast paced system. Not much of a set offense type of guy, which is more what Frank Vogel is using in this version of the Lakers. For Kuzma, not only at the field yet for that type of thing, we revert to the first problem. The injury didn't allow him to practice with the team until almost two months after the season started. Now, I talk in my other video about the Rondo problem. Some of the comments that I got was that Rondo wasn't really the problem, but the adjustment to the system. 
But here's my problem with Rondo. To the next part of this, the Rondo problem. Many people remember Rajan Rondo from the championship Celtics back in 2012. But since 2013, his net rating is being disastrous. Teams are better when he's not playing and worse when he's playing. But play of Rondo is a name people remember, not only because his championship run, but also because of his playoff run with the Pelicans, in which A.D. and Boogie Cousins were the main protagonists. To me, that was the main reason to keep Rondo. But Boogie Cousins is not going to be there to space the floor. And Rondo does not pass the ball to Kuzma until the last moments of his shot which is my problem with him. Part of it can be the system, but he is the floor general. He is able to make decisions on the floor that could affect the plays. Some people say that one of the reasons that he's so good on playoffs is because he can pick apart teams, but then why he's not able to see how to help Kuzma to become a scorer. That is part of the job of a point guard. I played point guard a little bit. Point guards are supposed to distribute the offense. That is what they do. And in the last seven seasons, Rondo hasn't been able to do that, at least on regular seasons. Will we see playoff Rondo on the playoffs? I hope so. Will we see a different Kuzma on the playoffs? I also hope so. In my next section, if I were a Lakers coach, or you could say a GM, hit me in the comments and let me know what would you do if you were Palinka? What would you do if you were Vogel? It's not like we are gonna influence them but we can have a little fun. There are certain things I would do. I would set small goals, and I would seat Rondo, and I would seat Kuzma, and I would say, this is what I want you to do in the second unit. Rondo, I want you to involve Kuzma in this particular place that I'm gonna design for him to score, and I want them to score at least two baskets in every quarter. The time is gonna be between five to seven minutes each quarter. And depending on each quarter, the next one could be more time, less time, or no time, depending on how the game goes. But establish small goals for Kuzma to score and sit down Rajan so he can use his floor general abilities to do that. Also, I would have to design those plays. I need to rest veterans. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. For more videos, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications so you don't miss anything. And to help the channel grow, please share it with your friends. Later and go Lakers. Enjoy the game.